video, Murds here. Tonight's hardware review will feature the ATT H1 Satin Stainless Steel Safety Razor. Uh, this was on loan to me by a, a good friend of mine from the wet shaving hobby named Nate. Uh, he reached out. No, he knows that I've reviewed the uh, classic H1 in stainless as well as the uh, aluminum Calypso H1 and wanted me to uh, have a chance at the Windsor H1 in satin finish. Um, so I appreciate it, Nate. I'm really looking forward to providing this review. I know how excited you were for this. So ATT is a uh, maker of premium safety razors in both the DE and SE variants. They're based out of Kingsport, Tennessee. Um, they're well known for their 30-day return policy if you happen to purchase a razor from them um, and you're not satisfied with the shave it's giving you because you picked the wrong plate or just for whatever reason, you can return it for either a full refund or a uh, full replacement of the uh, razor itself to something that's more suitable to your needs. It was recently announced that Stan, the uh, founder and uh, president of ATT, is retiring. He has retired. Um, he's passed the business on to his son-in-law, Matt, who's already working on big things. I'm going to put a link below to his recent blog post on the ATT website where he talks about some of the uh, changes that are in the pipeline. Um, Matt is highly focused on customer service as well as the uh, high quality assurance that's uh, associated with these razors. They can be purchased direct at maggotrazors.com and razoremporium.com. So as mentioned, this is the uh, Windsor H1 Satin Stainless. Uh, H1 is the most aggressive plate offered by ATT in their DE uh, razor um, space. You can see it's got the etching on the bottom signifying that it's made in the USA and uh, the play type on the bottom cap here. Cool uh, circular lather channels. This is machined out of uh, 303 stainless steel and then tumbled bead tumbled to a uh, satin finish as you can see. 100% um, US made on this razor. If, if that's uh, something you're into, you're going to uh, appreciate that USA made. Um, this is the standard handle, which is known as the Calypso handle. Uh, the handle alone weighs 74 grams is in, and is three and a half inches long. The entire assembly is three and three quarters inches long when tightened down and weighs 116 grams, which is a, a very familiar weight for anybody that's familiar with uh, DE razors in the stainless variant. Cap on this is uh, 0.91 millimeters. Um, again, their most aggressive offering and 0.91 millimeters is um, 0.02 millimeters larger than a uh, Gillette Slim on setting six. You'll probably recall from my uh, previous H1 reviews, um, both the Stainless Classic and the Calypso, that the H1 is the uh, most aggressive razor in terms of a daily driver that I used. Um, when I say that, I mean that it's um, aggressive enough to achieve a one pass against the grain shave for me uh, with minimal buffing. But it's safe enough uh, and you know performs well enough that I don't get any irritation by shaving my dome daily with this razor. Uh, the Windsor H1 is no different. Um, beautiful balance to this razor. Um, easy angle to find. Easy sweet spot. Um, it's not the widest sweet spot gap there is, but it's uh, highly forgiving. The uh, safety bar does its job. If you move the razor out of line, it's just not going to shave. Not a whole lot of blade feel compared to other really aggressive razors. Um, but enough that you know what you're doing and it really helps me shave blind uh, on the back of the dome. I was slightly concerned with the satin finish that the razor might not glide 
as well as the uh, classic stainless version did, but I've had no issues with dragging. Um, the razor moves the way you want it. There's no uh, drag, no uh, skipping. It's machined to such tight tolerances that there's very little blade, or no blade play, I should say. Uh, no blade chatter when you screw it down tight. Everything aligns properly. Everything is centered the first time. No need to, you know, check to make sure there's alignment or anything. I have noticed with uh, a couple days growth that the razor doesn't rinse as well as I'd like. I'm not sure if it's the... Um, circular lather channels or the distance between the blade and the uh, top cap or bottom cap. Um, I've had to kind of shake it in under the water a little harder than I'm used to to uh, clear it but nothing that um, you know is going to prohibit me from enjoying the shave. Overall this is still one of the uh, nicest premium razors out there considering the cost to performance ratio it's it's up there with the best of them in my opinion um, I've always enjoyed ATT's products and uh, the Windsor H1 is uh, really no exception so as you'd expect I had a uh, flawless dome shave with the uh, ATT H1 Windsor satin stainless um, beautiful razor. Really uh, glad Nate let me borrow this to uh, provide you all a review. Um, love the craftsmanship. Love the quality. Love the fact that it's uh, USA made. And uh, congrats to Stan on his retirement. And uh, best of luck to Matt with the uh, new offerings and the uh, carrying forward of the uh, Above the Tie name. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.